Hey everyone, I'm Sharon Waxman. I'm the CEO and the editor in chief and welcome to the RAPS award screening series for award season 2021 and 2022. I'm delighted to be here for this uh, discussion of Oasis with the director, Ivan Ikic from Serbia. In 2016, Ivan was one of six directors who was selected for the Cannes Cine Fondation residence where he developed this film. And the film this year is Serbia's official submission to the 2022 Oscars. So congratulations to him. We're going to show you the trailer and then we will go right into a conversation with Yvonne, who's coming to us directly from Belgrade. To our audience, you can participate in the live chat of the stream. You can share your thoughts about the film. Also, let us know where you're tuning in from because we know we have viewers all over the world. And now before we bring in the director, let's take a look at the trailer for Oasis. Robert, ali ti znaš šta je bilo sa Draganom? Ti znaš, Marija? Ne znam ja. Vidiš, ja sam čuo da ste vas dvije najbolje drugarice. Ona je to iznisiva. I ubomorna je, što volim u Roberta. Da Bog da crkla vješnica, Marija. Što mi je uzela Robert, da moću da budem sve po starom kako je bilo. So welcome to you, Ivan, from Belgrade. <laughs> um, we get to go all around the world when we do our award season screenings of the international films, and it's always an amazing journey. This film is absolutely remarkable and completely heartbreaking. Um, please tell our viewers the extremely unusual approach that you took in making this film. I tried to, 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 to make a film in the institution for the people with intellectual disabilities and mm -hmm. with the real residents who live there for all of their life. So uh, I wrote the script like the fictional story I want to happen. And uh, I, uh, I start casting to, to find the characters who are willing and who, 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 who want to participate in that experiment, let's say. It mm -hmm. was experiment at the beginning because yeah. we couldn't know, is it going to be film or not, you know? So uh, we start to learn acting and they start to learn acting actually. And uh, we were, uh, uh, rehearsing for more than a half an hour a year and wow <laughs> yeah it was very long and uh and very hard process to get to the film you know actually so the, I mean, the at any point did you feel like three months into the training you know this is not going to work i should really just get professional actors uh i thought many times that it's not going to work but yeah. I never thought that it should be played by professional actors because uh, it will lose some authenticity, mm. which I didn't want. So uh, I uh, every time I, I, I thought that maybe that, that was the wrong idea, uh, I tried to reinvent actually uh, my approaching and yeah. to start a different way. 
-hmm. and to 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 try even harder actually mm -hmm. and after a while it comes back you know for, uh, the, the 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 people who 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 participate in the film really open up in front of the firstly me and then in front of the camera who was present uh, which was present since beginning of our rehearsals mm -hmm. and then we start uh we, uh, the, the progress suddenly occurred <laughs> and uh -huh. uh, you hit, like you hit a point you hit like a critical point yes and, after, it, got, and it started to click yeah, yeah and clicked and suddenly everything's opened up and wow. in that moment we felt that we are ready to shoot and then we start production immediately like after a week wow. so but all got... the crew was already prepared to start right. when i said right it's, it's time so just to be clear so you have three young people who are in a kind of a, a love triangle in a way right they these two girls fall in love with the same uh, very uh shut down i would say young man and they all have their own emotional problems uh but it comes between them as friends and they they, they are all in this institution so Take us, give us a little bit of sort of the real world context for this. Th this is a real institution where you're shooting. Yes, this. Uh, it's a real institution. It exists from 1970s. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of uh, restricted area, so uh, uh, it's not open for a public, and they cannot leave the institution without uh, guardians. So, so this is kind of a relic of if I can say, of a communist era, in a way? Uh, it, it used to be the same in the United States also in the 70s. It existed everywhere. It was in fashion back then, you know. But right. after a while, uh, many things changed and uh, the, 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 those kind of institutions were closed back late 70s, early 80s, everywhere in the world. So, like... Uh, it doesn't exist in many countries anymore, but one which still exists is the one you can see in the film. In Serbia. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and that's where, you know, people, are they there voluntarily or are they, are they there because they're required to be there? Do they have to be uh, there? They, they're, they're living there because they don't have uh, any other uh, place to, to stay. To be, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. To be. Okay. So they're taken care of by the state, but it's it's very, ah, uh, it's <laughs> it's very dismal. It's very, it's very. Yeah, uh, it's a, a life depressing. sentence, but you but you are not uh, guilt of anything, you know. It's right, right. Of course, yeah. but it feel yeah, it does have a feel of a kind of a prison type yeah. thing, because um, you certainly don't have your freedom. But at the same time, you have a roof over your head and you're, you have food to eat and all of that kind yeah. of thing. But, but I mean, it's just amazing that you were able to work with these actors and convey to them what you were trying to get across. How did you even come to want to tell the story? Uh, I spent in, the, in that institution actually a lot of time uh, back in the early 2000s when I was still a film student. I was very curious and I spent uh, a lot of time there uh, uh, shooting documentaries, uh, uh, meeting did you know, the did people. You, did, you have, did you have a relative there or a friend? No, there? no, not really. Not really. One day uh, the, the guy who, who, who is running sports team in that institution come to our film academy and say, said if anyone willing to participate in some uh, sports event to mm -hmm. shoot to record it and that's how i first time came there so i never had any previous experience mm -hmm. but after that i come many times and uh, that was 15 or more years ago so mm -hmm. many people changed there and of course but the yeah. the, the, the the core of institution that how it function it's it's the still it is uh, still the same yeah unfortunately and, and so talk a little bit about sort of once once you said you 
got the actors to a certain place and then you immediately started filming. So how long, how long was the shoot? And then just, and also like walk us through what, like pick a scene. Um, there's any number of sort of intense scenes that we, that we could pick, but um, of, of sort of how you got from them, what it is you were trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it was a very unusual way of filmmaking without strict scheduling or, uh, let's say, uh, uh, complete plan, how it's gonna happen and what it's gonna happen which day. So it was more open for improvisation in the production. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it was really strict uh, when we say the story was least strictly uh, written. And I uh, wrote almost all the dialogues before mm -hmm. the shooting, so mm -hmm. it was, it was not uh, part of uh, any kind of improvisation. And uh, since beginning, I want them to play the roles, not to play themselves, but because the playing themselves w w was much easier way to do. But uh, the story will lose. So I tried to to teach them acting actually. So I use like basic technique of acting which any actors uh, is uh, common, like mm -hmm. it's very, uh, like it's preparation like for any other acting course, but I a little bit modify, especially for them and their disability and uh, approachment was a little bit different because I wanted to, to uh, personalize that method for, uh, any of them separately because they are not uh, uh, not have the same uh, uh, attention span and uh, right. same kind of perception focus. So, uh, yeah, maybe. yeah focus mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, I, I worked with uh, with each of them separately to 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 achieve the the, the same level of the of the expression but, but did you worry at any point that um, sort of the acting, the emotion that you're drawing out of them could maybe have a negative effect or could turn on you or no? Uh, no, I, I, my fear was concentrated uh, from beginning that uh, we will fail in one moment during, uh, it was 40 day of shootings, you know, and yep. uh, Wow. After a while, it could uh, the, the, the their uh, performance could uh, could uh, change during very very long time. You know, yeah, it was forty shooting days, but more than two months of shooting with the breaks. So I was in constant fear that they will they they will, they, they, they will feel oversaturated after a while. Mm -hmm. and uh, that the roles will lose during the shooting but it was completely different actually they'll gain uh, the, 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 they gain more technique skills during the shooting so mm -hmm. like, and they were become capable they will become aware of uh, how the crew works how the technicians work wh wh where is the camera where is the light uh, and uh, how to to be uh uh aware of that uh, uh, specific uh, elements. So mm -hmm. they, uh, they, 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 after a while, they, they, they are uh, behaving as a, any other actor on the set. <laughs> and how, like, let's talk, cause, because you, you deal with suicide in this film, it becomes a, an issue. How did you talk to, the, to these young people about suicide as a, as a, as a plot point? Uh, since they are, very uh let's say uh, exposed to that kind of topics every day because it's very uh common thing in such uh, places in the institution like that it's not far away from uh, their real life actually they they they, they, they witnessed many suicidal attempts in the their uh in the in their uh rooms or in their uh, uh, places where, where, where they are uh, 
they, they're spending a time or their, their friends tried uh, such a thing. So they, they, it's not something very unusual for them, you know. And they're, they're very like, uh, mm. which I like very much is how they are openly uh, express their emotions about that and how their personal perception of of such a topic is completely different than something you see in the film. Which is to say what? Uh, how? How is it different? Uh, they, 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 they don't express emotions that way. Like they're not uh, self-harming, they're not uh, uh, right. uh, trying to, to, to do some bad things to themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the themes in the movie really seem very much about love, you know, where you find love and how it grows anywhere. Yeah. And, but, but also this issue of sort of freedom, right? And sort of how you um, define, I, I think, just the basic desire, human desire yeah. for freedom, you know, in any circumstance. Yes, but it's also like uh, freedom. W what means freedom? In their case, it's more uh, like uh, uh, express of freedom is uh, actually through their body, and controlling your body is ultimate form of your uh, freedom. Yes. And the last thing you have in such a closed uh, circumstances, you know, without any kind of hope. When you don't have control over your movements or your yes, of course, or your body, yeah. What was what has been the response in Serbia to the film? Uh, actually, it was very, uh, very warm, and uh, mm. people uh, really liked the film. It was not such a huge uh, uh, blockbuster, but uh, it's not that kind of film. <laughs> it's not that kind of film, and it's not that kind uh, of film. yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, people really positively uh, reacted to the film, and uh, there, there are uh, there are huge uh, uh, amount of people who are. Uh, discussing it openly through the social media and so on, and also it opened some very sensitive topics about the 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 institutionalization of the people with intellectual disabilities, and it opened yeah. some topics which could be uh, in the future somehow uh, open some space new, for new new ways of how to deal with the uh, with the situation yeah like that. yeah i would think so it sort of holds up a mirror to something that most people in the country probably never see yeah of course but in i mean it's screened on many festivals and uh, in uh, uh, every country where it's screened like people uh haven't seen such a similar place yeah. or yeah or they Did didn't know I, I'm just curious. Did you shoot the film during the pandemic? No, it was shoot uh, uh, before pandemics. <laughs> Hopefully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were sound mixing during, uh, when the when the pandemic starts, and mm -hmm. we were so, like. So did the film come out this year, right? Uh, it uh, came in 2020 in Venice Film Festival. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so the experience of making this film, does it make you feel like you want to make movies with untrained actors or never again? <laughs> no, actually, uh, I like uh, uh, that kind of experiment because uh, it gives me some uh, fresh point of view. Uh, and uh, I like to work uh, with actors either mm -hmm. non-professional or professional extras anyway. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like uh, choosing non-professionals gives you a little bit more space to work with actors actually, because you need to train them. Uh, and, but with professional actors, you know, you are restricted in time, you know, and you have only uh, uh, 
uh, days of shooting for the rehearsing and so on. So it's very strict and uh, mm. not that open like this. And for if you want to resolve uh, to to if you want to uh, experiment more in the uh, authenticity in front of the camera and somehow you got something very uh, very fresh and new from the people who don't have experience before mm -hmm. N neither they want uh, at the beginning to be in front of the camera at all but after yeah. a while uh, yeah and you can recognize it and i mean since from uh, since the, from the history of the cinema it's like that from neorealism in italy till now like mm -hmm. uh, film it's kind of open for the people without previous experience in front of the camera yeah for sure but you just made the challenge that much harder by yeah, working yeah, with but people this who, challenge was, yeah. who have disabilities. So what's happened to these young people? Um, we should say their names. You, you tell, it meant, let's mention yeah. their names. Mariana, Valentino, uh, e, and uh, Tiana. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are, uh, uh, they were on a summer tour actually uh, with the film. So they mm -hmm. spend some time on the holidays and the summer mm -hmm. film festival. Mm -hmm. First time in their life, actually. Wow. And now some of them, uh, uh, the Tiana left the, the institution uh, really? a year ago. Yeah. Wow. And she's in another kind of uh, supportive uh, community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope that two. Uh, Two of them, uh, Mariana and Valentino, will find a different uh, opportunity to leave the institution, like mm -hmm. through the, 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 the those kind of new uh, uh, new programs, which could be open soon. Mm -hmm. You're still in Pro touch with support. Them. Pro yeah, yeah, of course, we are uh, every day on uh, social media. Like, every day, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, like very. Uh, frequent uh, 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 frequent uh, communication during pandemics because they, they were closed in the institution for almost a year. So we could not see each other uh, I see. in person, but we could uh, chat and uh, have video calls and so on. So hmm. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Ivan Ikic, for bringing us your film, Oasis, which is Serbia's official submission for the international Oscar race this year. And best of luck to you. And con congratulations on a really thank remarkable you. accomplishment as a director. Thank it's you. Really amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to have you all with us for the WRAPS discussion in our international award season screening series. You can be the first to know about our upcoming RAP screenings and events by signing up for RAP Pro. You can just find it on the RAP's homepage, therap.com. You can also register for upcoming screenings, catch up on any past screenings you may have missed, and more by visiting therap.com's screening tab in the main navigation bar. Thanks so much, and we will see you at our next screening.